existing beneath 2nd Avenue ended in 2013, and the unsightly structures that housed rubble from the big subway dig disappeared nearly one year later. But for the stores and restaurants in the construction zone, the hard times have not gone away. We gotta deal with it, you know, we, 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 we'll get through it, but it's, it's not easy. And, and all these businesses on 2nd Avenue are dealing with this. So on Tuesday, the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce launched Shop 2nd Ave, an app steering shoppers to discounts from businesses along the avenue. The app is the latest effort by the Manhattan Chamber to draw customers to a strip where 11% of the storefronts are vacant. Because it really doesn't matter to a business how much is going on outside the business as long as their customers are coming in the door. So we were trying to do everything we could do to get customers in the door. The Chamber vows to operate the app until service begins on the new line. How can we help these uh, commercial businesses survive? Rent is, you know, unparalleled uh, increases in, in Manhattan and even now in the other boroughs where there's a lot of growth. Um, I just lost two of my businesses, actually two board members, they're still on my board though, who went to Queens. Why did they go to Queens? They actually went to Long Island City. Why did they go to Long Island City? Cheaper rent. No commercial rent tax. There's, there's incentives to move to another borough. Where's the incentive to stay in Manhattan? Where's the balance? You know, it's great to, to help to support, as the mayor's um, initiative is, to, uh, to help the inequality. But you cannot keep asking the business to do this, 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 pay this, 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 and not give them back anything. So it's really on our mission is to try to figure out a balance. Let's get to those spaces, but what can we give the business to keep them in business to even have the job to begin with? And one of the things that I think people tend to forget, and this was, a, was an issue that I brought up after 9-11, the first thing when you have a disaster is you try to take care of people, save lives, uh, create uh, a roof over people's heads, give them food, give them water, and once that's stabilized, then what needs to happen? You need to redevelop the business community so that those people can get back to work, so that those store owners can open their shops, and so that the workers can go back to work and make a salary. And the small businesses are always the unforgotten victims in these types of disasters. One thing we forget, a small business owner is a person too. They have families, they have kids, they have some of the same issues that the employees do, but it's multiple, twice, because they're not only worrying about their employees, they're worrying about their families as well. So all the same issues that are, the employees are dealing with are the same that the employers are dealing with from a family perspective. One thing that we all need to agree on here, there are good employers and there are bad employers. Is, it, is that something we all can agree on? And there are good employees and there are bad employees. And that, is that also something we can agree on? And we would love to be able to do something to get to those bad employers and help fix this problem. So that's why we are undertaking a study over the next several months that both uh, City Speaker uh, Quinn, Council Member Brewer, and uh, other council members who are heads of certain committees are aware that we're undertaking this study to see if we can root out those industries and those bad employers and help to fix the problem. What was the first significant job that comes to mind that brought you to where you are today? Oh boy, I think it was being the Easter Bunny in a shopping mall in Hagerstown, Maryland, where my father first introduced me to getting involved in the community. Well, I can tell you another story, which is about dropping ping pong balls out of a helicopter over that very mall, doing the same thing, bringing, bringing the community together.